Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Watch to Talk. On today's video, I'll be doing a watch review on Omega Suverain CK2400. Firstly, let us talk a bit of history behind this watch. As Sweden self-declared as a neutral nation during World War II, Swedish government bought these watches directly from Omega and sold them to its citizen with a markup. The markup then will go toward for the Swedish government to regain some financial independence. So in today's market, we refer this watch as the Swedish military watch. Omega CK2400 was first introduced in 1942 according to the Omega database. But from my personal collection and from all the watches with this case model that I have sold, they date to around 1943 to 1945. This case model will come with many dials variation. Almost all of the dial will come with the luminous hour indexes. There is one particular dial that do not come with luminous and that's the one with the Roman hour indexes. And the most desirable dial, I would say the bullseye dial. On this table, I do have four different dials to show you. There's this one. There's also something like this. There's this one. And there's also this one with the connected minute track. The case I mentioned for this watch is 35.5 mm across, excluding the crown and from the top tip to bottom tip will be 41.7 mm and for the thickness of this watch will be 7.5 mm excluding the crystal and if you want to include the crystal will be 10.5 mm the crystal that this watch takes is an acrylic low dome crystal without the metal tension ring and the original crown for this watch is unsigned the crown diameter is 6 mm by 2.7 mm thickness and if you ever need to replace the strap on this watch, it takes an 18 mm size strap. The case back on this watch, I believe there are around four to five variation. I only have three variation. This is one of them. There's also something like this. And there's this one. The case back for this watch is a screw down case back and inside the case back will have the case model number. The case back also take a flat o-ring gasket, something like this. Omega CK2400 is a manual wind sub second watch. So the movement that it takes will be an Omega 15 joules manual wind sub second caliber 30T2 movement. And if you look carefully, this movement will have a movement holder as well. Without this holder, this movement will be just loose inside the watch once you close the case back. So that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please leave your question or comment in the comment section below. And my website and Instagram link are also below this video. Please not forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in the next episode.